I think maybe the question I want to ask you is, should crypto be regulated after this debacle? And how should we think about, say, risk management and governance? Then? So I will say this, uh, US regulation pushed FTX offshore and lack of enforcement allowed BlockFi to keep operating after getting a $100 million fine from the SEC. And Luna was largely not in the US, right? So the question is going to be what regulation in what jurisdiction? And I don't have a good answer for that. That's up to, uh, to other people to do mm -hmm. so. Do you think that like things like stable coins needs to be regulated? Like for example, there's a stable coin bill that was supposed to be, I think collateralized or over collateralized stable coins are okay, but I'll go stablecoin shouldn't be allowed or something along those lines. I think in general that if you regulate the previous cycle, the market has already learned, right? So crypto in many ways is a capitalist, libertarian, you know, future, right? And if you are allowed to play these large experiments and they blow up, then they don't happen anymore, right? People will try new things. So if we try to regulate exactly what happened last cycle, it likely will have no bearing on what happens next cycle. That's where the problem in this regulation is, is going to be. But I think one problem with crypto or Web3, we call it, is that whatever you do, there's always an embedded capital market that sits on it. It doesn't matter what you do. And I think that is where the, the challenge really is. Because once you have an embedded capital market, you can throw any form of financial engineering, mm -hmm. risk engineering into it, right? But then let me just, ask you then, are you or maybe even Sue still bullish on the space and believe that the super cycle will still come someday? We, we, we are still bullish on the space. I, I, I think the aftermath of FTX has not been felt entirely yet. The, that was, the, the reality is it's going to take like six months to mm. really know the full implications of that. And, and then we'll start to see some regulation come through too. But, but really, it's the insolvencies, the, the companies, the projects that run out of money because it will be hard to raise. All that stuff needs to flush first. And then after that, yeah, we can go super cycling again. And then question is actually all pending due to whether Genesis will be insolvent and take down the entire DCG, right? Because that's the only near extinction event that's going to happen. They're, they're not the only ones. I mean, they're, I, I really could, I'm not going to name on the show, but mm -hmm. I could name numerous firms which are likely insolvent and struggling. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no. I, I think that there is this interesting point of view. Actually, when I met you all, I actually went and drew a map of all the lending, the hedge funds and everything, and then discovered that everything leads to Genesis. The, yes. the question then is that, okay, if Genesis blow, then everyone blows as well, right? But the, the real near extinction event, and I keep asking everyone, is probably is either Tether gets the pack and then cause a bank run on Binance. Well, arguably, Bitcoin should be you know, nuclear proof, right? But yeah, in terms of serious, even more serious damage to the industry, there has been a massive consolidation, I would argue, that has never been seen since potentially Gox level consolidation in the stablecoin space in the exchange space, and probably also now in the, you know, the, the DCG lending, you know, thing that he's got there too, uh, Grayscale. So I think these three are, the, the whole point of, of crypto in general is that there's decentralization, right? And choice, and this prevents, you know, attack vectors, things like that. Now we have three like pretty prominent firms, which have their own risk mitigants or whatever, but but it's just a very, like each one of those has an 80% plus market share of their dominant areas. And that is, that's not the way crypto is supposed to be.